Hello, everyone, and now welcome. Welcome to a red human player actually choosing human, not going random. Meanwhile, meanwhile, over here on the bottom left, Moon spawning as the teal night elf player. And well, yeah, Moon spawning as the teal night elf player on the bottom left. Concealed Hill, a map that needs no introductions. Perhaps, perhaps one of my why did I say perhaps twice? Perhaps one of my um, favorite maps currently in the map pool with an odd number of gold mines making this concealed hill. Um, well, pretty much a game of king of the hill towards the end. Um, are we going to be looking at a king of the hill battle? Or are we just going to be looking at some early quick aggression play? Time will tell as Infi is going to be opening up perhaps with an archmage going up against a keeper of the grove coming in from moon. Moon, Keeper of the Grove and Archers has been his bread and butter recently. Meanwhile, Archmage, the well, the bread and butter for human players since pretty much day one of Reign of Chaos, um, as the Archmage is just that powerful of, um, yeah, Infi played human throughout this tournament, chose random in one best of five. Ah, okay. Yeah, Infi is, Infi just a, a, a really, really strong um, really, really strong player, and I, I guess when you're going up against your op uh, you're going up against uh, the best of the best in the world, and um, even though you can have um, you can surprise your opponent with um, well some interesting interesting strategies as random, it just often isn't consistent enough. We are looking at Infi no. Um, no ain't or what is this arcane tower as of yet that does surprise me a little bit meanwhile archmage is going to make its way down across here go after this 333 creep camp there you go there's that water elemental waiting for the forest troll trapper to throw in and snare on something else before um, uh, having that water elemental attack very key little bits of points right there having that water elemental absorb a little bit of damage or a lot of damage before it gets taken out. There goes that Forest Troll Berserker. Keeper of the Grove already moving off to the north here. That Ancient of War, well, living up to its name, bringing war to the creeps as the Keeper of the Grove should be summoning up some additional trends here in just a moment. And then, well, trying to creep out even further. All right, there goes one Entangle. Keeper of the Moon going to continue that fight once again. That, well, Spider Crim Limb Ripper about to fall. As we're looking at level 2 already on that Archmage. As he, well, gets Brilliance Aura and a Gloves of Haste. Giant Sea Turtle easily taken down. Wow, down to 12 hit points is that one Water Elemental. As Infi just on the move again. Keeper of the Grove heading back off to the north. Level 2 versus level 2 Archmage. We are neck and neck. Are we going to be looking at a Militia call? Yes, we are. And it looks like it is going to be a, a possible attempt to try and, well, try and clear out this expansion um, a location for a fast expansion there. Infi losing one Militia there. Tome of Agility being dropped here. Keeper of the Grove could try and entangle some more units. And Moon looks like it's going to be able to punish this expansion very, very easily. A couple of e quick, easy shots. One or two more attacks may be able to finish it off. And there goes another Footman there. As the Keeper of the Grove being forced to, or forcing that Archmage to retreat back. Footman trying to find ways to, um, well, defend this Archmage. Archmage down to 200 some odd hit points as the Trents are going to easily get taken out. Coming back across, Keeper of the Grove sees, hey, there's no expansion really being set up there. Archmage picks up Staff of Teleportation and Dust of Appearance as the Keeper of the Grove now trying to retreat back again. All right, units making their way back off to the north. There goes another Null. Militia are all in position. Archmage shows up to the party, and here we go. There goes one Militia trying to retreat back once more. Um, who's going to get the experience? Keeper of the Grove. No, Archmage gets up to level 3. Level 2, Water Elementals. Talisman of Evasion also getting added, added in as a beautiful denial by Infi, and, well, ensuring that, um, that Keeper of the Grove doesn't gain any more experience there. Even though the Keeper of the Grove has been able to easily delay the expansion, it is Infi's um, Archmage 
that got to level three. Interesting call right there. A couple of archers also actually hidden right there as the archmage well wakes uh, is going to wake up the creeps trying to well regenerate some hit points only to see that there are four archers right there in position. Moon doing a great job as well, looking to finish off some of these militia is going to be able to continue to put in some of that pressure, perhaps getting an entangle on those units. No, We're trying to retreat away as the footman perhaps could have gotten us around there. Archmage, meanwhile, by himself putting down pressure on all of those units. There, you see that there is dust of appearance. Thank you for the follow. Um, I thought Modest, Mo, um, Modest Dota, I thought you actually, um, yeah, that name sounds familiar. Did you unfollow to refollow? And it now sounds like my daughter is awake. All right. Tree of Life getting built down to the south. WGL. WGL Moon looking to set up an expansion here. Archmage of Infi still putting in pressure. Going to be perhaps be dropping some water elementals and perhaps trying to stop this great hall or this Hunter's Hall. Hunter's Hall taking a little bit of damage here. There's an entangle. Staff of Teleportation quickly right after it, allowing him to get away easily. Back off to the north, there is one Trent here. Our Arcane Tower should be coming online. And one Peasant at most will end up falling just because he was already low on hit points right at the very beginning. Nope, he will end up staying alive, able to hide in the gold mine. Still, as the Keeper of the Grove ventures forth and to the north. We are at Tier 2. We do see Tree of Ages checking that Nature's Blessing and going into Dual Ancients of Lore. As more Wisp are added in, um, I am expecting Moon to go to Tier 3 and then perhaps go for Dryads. And the question will be, is it Mountain Giants or Druids of the Claw? Tree of Life taking a large amount of damage here. Archer is already in position to try and protect this one building. And um, as we are looking at an Entangle onto that Water Elemental. Water Elemental representing the most amount of damage since the Tree of Life is uprooted. As the Demon Hunter is now out onto the battlefield. All right, it looks like one footman, oh, able to escape away at 17 hit points. Archmage going to go ahead and aggro the creeps once more and now trying to pull back away as there goes down a mana burn. All right, the Null Assassin's actually getting a little bit of damage back across here and Moon um, going to be able to set up his own expansion here while Infi, what is he doing? One footman, well, just looking to attack a Moonwell, giving level three to that Keeper of the Grove. Tree of Life. Going to be able to entangle this gold mine here in just a second. A footman trying to attack down here. This is just not a good spot to be in. And this Keeper of the Grove should be able to finish off this one footman pretty easily. No, not even attacking it all that much. I'm not quite sure why. That was a sure thing if that Keeper of the Grove just continued to stay around. Or was it level? No, it was level 2 entangle. All right, so level 2 Entangle, down to 65 hit points. It's going to stick around and continue to fight as well. Demon Hunter gets up to level 2, picks up Talisman of Evasion, the most useless item for that Demon Hunter, um, as this Null Assassin will get taken out. Keeper of the Grove heading back off to the north here. Ancient of War back down. Footman, well, well oh, no, Footman was not able to escape. I believe a Dryad was able to finish it. No, no I don't know where that corpse, if a corpse went anywhere. That isn't that Footman that I saw earlier. So not quite sure what happened to it as a Dryad. Thank you, little, um, what, little, little to mouse for the, um, for the sub as the Demon Hunter going after the Footman again. All right little bit of engagements going on all over the place and so far both sides are now looking to just trying to get an advantage into this mid game and um, we are looking at what double racks Players with an arcane vault i don't see an arcane sanctum infi not going for any casters that i can see at all so um well without any priests that rifleman army is actually um well, that Rifleman army isn't going to be enough. Normally, you have casters there to just try and constantly heal up as the, well, the Wisp are going to jump inside that entangled gold mine. True base, pure rifle push. Yeah, th yeah, this is straight up old school here. There's that Arcane Sanctum now getting added in a little bit delayed. And there's also being sped built, sitting at 48 supply. Could have started building that a little bit earlier and not forced to try and build a well oh there's that mana burn archmage losing all of well, all of that mana as it heads back home mountain oh no blood mage 
as the second hero. Okay, we were talking about how Infi was going old school, but now going Blood Mage as the second hero. And you rarely see Blood Mage as the second hero um, in this matchup. Perhaps he knows something that we don't about Blood Mage and Siphon Mana. Siphon Mana going up against a Demon Hunter's Mana Burn always seems a little bit of a of a weird proposition to say the least unless the blood mage is able to remove all of the mana from the demon hunter um it seems like a very dangerous dangerous proposition all right forest troll high priest gonna get taken down manual of health gonna be picked up well there's siphon mana from the keeper of the grove keeper of the grove losing a little bit right there as manual health picked up by the blood mage here we go sock actually introduced the uh, yeah it very old school blood mage just trying to steal a little bit of mana right there keeper of the grove getting in that damage here are we gonna see a priest here that is the question as the footman most likely will get taken out there it is there's that well shot in the back by a rifleman to deny a bit of experience uh, no no siphon mana surprised that i didn't see a siphon mana here blood mage is now out siphon mana coming across from that um keeper of the grove and now level three demon hunter should be getting in level th two mana burns onto that archmage pretty quickly as another mana burn goes down all right more damage coming back across there staff of preservation breaks the link as we're looking at well water elementals finishing off an archer um, in that position archmage sitting at level three almost at level four uh, water elemental is going to get abolished and nearly getting taken out as now the blood mage siphoning mana away from the ogre magi Toma strength plus two archmage now seeing that level four as that damage could add up still 56 supply compared to 65 infi has the supply advantage mana burn no no mana burn getting siphon mana again as the archmage going after all of these units riflemen trying to push their way through priest are along the backside there as we should be looking at an expansion attempt here in just a moment Infi going to be king of the hill on on concealed hill for a little bit as he's going to be trying to set up this third base no not setting up a third base just bringing um, a militia over for the fight and then making it look like there was another base there all right priest do have adapt training only two priests but this rifleman one zero push now counteracting um, well, all of the dryads that we are seeing but eventually moon should be transitioning into either mountain giants or bears but the, t the question is going to be, are the bears going to have? No, they are not going to have mastery training anytime soon. So the timing on this attack is going to be huge as well. Archmage being brought over to the front here. Blood Mage does have a potion of greater healing. Going to siphon mana away from that uh, Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter, while trying to break the link, finally able to break it in the back as we we're looking at a tower attempt coming in from Infi. All right, old school tower push with Rifleman and Priest here. Pushing in very heavily Blood Mage. I'm actually shutting down the Demon Hunter's mana burn. Um, very, very odd to see a Demon Hunter without mana going up against a human army, uh, the human heroes with mana so far, as we are still looking at this push go through. All right, trying to get that, um, well, that Druid of the Claw training going as the damage is going to slowly add up slowly, but surely pulling that, uh, well, hit points and all of that away again still. All right, Demon Hunter uh, off to the back, down to 127 hit points, able to back up here. Guard Towers of Infi, could, more of them could get constructed here. Staff of Teleport or tele Teleportation Moon. What is going on here? Moons, Demon Hunter down to 83 hit points. Is it going to be able to survive? Yes, able to heal back up temporarily as we are building an Arcane Vault as well. Infi with this really well-timed push here, 2 zero upgrades. And this is where I would normally expect to see a Mountain King with Thunderclap doing something instead. Um, it is the Blood Mage uh, being able to play a little bit of this range game constantly. Siphon mana away from that Demon Hunter. An added bonus of constantly siphoning mana away from that Demon Hunter is that when it tries to use Moonwell, Moonwells, it actually drains them faster. Archmage continuing to pull back here. Rifleman trying to back up once uh, once more. More damage coming back across. Low hit point due to the clock. Able to retreat again. And that damage, well, Staff of Preservation saves another bear. All right. Meanwhile, guard towers are in that front line spot. Really fast at damage. High DPS, 23 to 37 as the Blood Mage gets up to level 3. All right. More damage added in. Another another Dryad getting taken out. Archmage at 4.5. Blood Mage sitting at 380 supply for Infi, going up against 61 supply over 60 for Moon. Very low. Well, are we going to see that Druid of the Claw getting Siphon Mana? No, we are not. Building a Manor Lumber Mill saying, you know what? If you are going to give me this space, I'm going to build a Lumber Mill right here in your face, and you're not going to be able to 
play these uh, constant games here. If you're going to try to come in from behind, well, you're going to do a, a run by of these guard towers instead. And now, well, Moon must think that an expansion is here, not realizing what, what is happening. Yeah, Moon comes across to the center portion of the base and goes, realizes, wait, there is no expansion here on Concealed Hill. And he made it look like he was trying to build an expansion in the center portion of the map. Moon must have misjudged, not realizing that a large push was coming as opposed to a se uh, setting up a second expansion coming in from Infi. And, and that is what did it. All right, Squirrel of Town Portal coming across. Goblin Shredder could easily get taken down. Mana Burn, uh, well, completely out right there. Goblin Shredder quickly finished off right there as the units are trying to back here. Guard Towers adding in a little bit more damage. There's some more Siphon Mana as the Archmage and all of these Riflemen could end up getting taken down. They are trying to get back up next to these Guard Towers, which is going to provide a bit of support here as they are now in a little bit of a run. Staff of Preservation saving some of those as the Blood Mage down to 100 and well, up to 600 hit points temporarily as it needed to use that Potion of Greater Healing. All right, more fighting getting underway. More damage coming back across Blood Mage. Are we going to see some more Druid of the Claws getting taken out? Down to 67 hit points. It looks like it will end up surviving as the Peasants are still here. Well, uh, well, causing a little bit of body blocking for that. Oh, Demon Hunter finally using the Staff of Teleportation in order to break free Talisman of Evasion. And well, helping that right there. Once more, this Demon Hunter constantly has a lot of its mana removed and siphoned by that blood mage which means that the moon wells are just constantly lower than you would normally think 48 supply compared to 78 a great push right here and infi looks like he is just in great control of this game once more all right are you gonna try and put pressure and, and fight back here this lumber mill am acting as a little bit of a wall as we're looking at a single ancient of lore one ancient of lore already taken down this gold mine only having five minutes of mining left but representing well, a, 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 well, a lot of gold here as we see another mana go, burn go down onto the Archmage. Archmage sitting at level 4 could get another mana burn here. Rifleman could turn back around, get level 5 on the Archmage. Now there goes another bear, another bear. And there is the GG by Moon. Infi um, bringing 5 Militia to the center of Concealed Hill for a battle. And crept it out. And then secretly just brought those peasants back home moon must have thought that infi was in the middle of an expansion attempt as opposed to a large push and when infi finally brought an 80 supply army of riflemen and then called in a more militia to be able to build up guard towers and arcane vault inside his base he was simply not ready for it moon and um, well well I, I think it was really that head fake, that little bit of play, making it look like I'm going to be doing something and then opening up with something else. And Moon, well, Moon just thinking, hey, you know what? I don't have to worry about a strong push right now. Uh, I'm, you know, maybe I will just counter attack that expansion at that right moment. And then, you know, I'll force the game to go long, not realizing that he had he had to defend himself not having those bears online early enough that was also very key and um, you saw as the riflemen were knocking on that front door the ancient of eternity or, or the what tree of eternity upgrade was not yet done so there was not going to be a true level two druids of the claw for a little while longer that means that the bears if they tried to engage um, they would have been engaging with 560 hit points walking towards a line of riflemen that would not have gone well at all. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.